The research that I'm talking about today is prehabilitation. And what that comes from, uh, I think, is originally from rehabilitation, which is where we used to send patients after they have these large operations to get stronger and improve their nutrition uh, in the form of rehabilitation at rehab centers. Well, the thought from prehabilitation is that why not bring this forward to before the time of the operation in order to help them gain strength and improve their nutrition going into surgery. And the idea from that would be that they would likely do better at the time of the operation, recover faster, and ideally have fewer complications as well. We are already seeing some promising uh, data uh, from prehabilitation use, um, on b both anecdotally and in early uh, trials, as well as from the, some of the retrospective data. We know that if patients are healthier going into their operation, they're healthier coming out of their operation. And so that's really ideally the, the argument to make for doing this. Uh, the other important thing to me uh, is that this allows patients to engage uh, themselves in their own care, which is usually a, a difficult thing to do in cancer because this is generally speaking an uncontrollable entity but to give patients some control over their tumors uh, and be able to control their outcomes to some extent is tremendously helpful. Well, in general, patients who have pancreatic cancer uh, tend to suffer from a number of complications usually related to these tumors. These tumors are aggressive. Uh, they can secrete uh, cytokines, these chemicals that generally cause a decline in their uh, health status and, and uh, preoperative condition, but these tumors can also block the stomach and block the gastrointestinal tract, uh, thereby causing even more impaired nutrition uh, than an average tumor. I think that if we're able to treat those patients uh, and optimize them beforehand, then that's going to result in a huge improvement uh, in, their, uh, in, in their gastrointestinal tract and in their general condition. We also found, uh, it's actually very interesting, we found that when we examine those patients before and after they receive the therapies that they require for treatment of their pancreas cancer, namely the chemotherapy, that a lot of these patients experience a notable decline in their general condition just from the chemotherapy alone. In fact, uh, with the help of Dr. Naomi Sell, we investigated this and found that approximately one third of patients will have a decline in their muscle mass, which is representative of their general condition that represents their health, their nutrition, and their physical abilities. And so the fact that one third of those patients undergo a decline, we then compared that with their outcomes, not just their outcomes from an operation, but generally even their cancer outcomes. So looking at things like survival, two-year survival, recurrence of tumors. And we found that patients who've had a decline in their health status, i.e. their preoperative exercise capacity, uh, their nutritional condition, actually have worse outcomes even when it comes to their cancer specifically.